cooking with today's daily dish, which screams sustainable luxury. We've got Chef Jose Matamoros here from Wine Hotel Toronto. Welcome to City Wine. I love that you're here and I love that you're making us a seasonal mushroom omelet with a raw salsa verde, which is beautiful. So I hear that One Hotel Toronto, and I know this actually, and One Kitchen Toronto are very dedicated to having a very sustainable kitchen. As a matter of fact, it's a zero waste kitchen. So Correct. what does that mean? And tell us about that. So what it means is, well, uh, one hotel and one kitchen, we take sustainability sustainability very serious. Mm -hmm. And for example, at one kitchen, we divert 85% of our, our wet waste. Uh -huh. As well, we have an inside composter that turns that wet waste into reusable soil that then goes into the plants within the property, which are thousands. Oh, so, my goodness. Yeah. Also, uh, in the same uh, sense, we try to use all of the product we try to use local products yeah. we stay within 100 kilometers radius for our uh, suppliers that is amazing and yes and and just try to keep the, the waste at minimum really good and a ton of foliage which is why people love one hotel it's, it's absolutely covered, yes. gorgeous and wood and everything like that so let's get to the cooking let's get right. to the recipe talk to me about why you are choosing to do an omelet with mushrooms well yeah mushrooms are in season right now this is yeah. the end of the fall and they're at its prime and we have very good mushrooms in Ontario, even in Toronto. The omelet, why I love omelets, I love mushrooms, but also One Kitchen is known for its brunch and breakfast menu. Mm -hmm. And I think that an omelet represents that very well. Mushrooms, omelet, yeah. pair perfectly, yes. salsa verde, it's bright, healthy, it's Mexican, I love it, and it's just so easy to make. And very that's why, good. the combination. But more importantly, are you also famous for mimosas? Are there mimosas with the omelet chef? If it's not, if there's no mimosas, we wouldn't call ourselves a restaurant for brunch or breakfast, right? Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Okay, tell me about the mushroom you're using, and then we'll get to the salsa right. verde. We're using chanterelle mushrooms. Chanterelle, okay. Or cantarellos, ivarios. There are different types of them. Yeah. But these are golden chanterelles. Beautiful. Okay, so let's start with the salsa verde then. How do we do that? Yeah, salsa verde, very easy. Like you said, it's a raw salsa verde, so there's mm -hmm. nothing uh, that we need to cook. We have a blender here. We're just going to add our ingredients, which are tomatillos, yeah. four green tomatoes, yeah. onion, serrano peppers, only two, not too spicy. I didn't take the seeds or anything. Okay. And it all goes into the blender. Okay. No water, nothing, just a bit of salt. Nice and green in there, and that's what you need to get your greens in. Correct. And, and no water because there's a lot of water in the ingredients, so we don't need it. Beautiful. Maybe a touch of oil. Maybe a little bit. A little bit of oil. Okay. And we blend it. That's it for just a minute or so to make it a, a, an emulsified smooth paste. Beautiful. And very easy if you have fresh ingredients. Right. right? So we just let it go for 10 seconds. Yeah, sure. Let's just watch it. It's so interesting. <laughs> That's it. Now we're just going to add uh, our cilantro. Okay. I didn't add it in the beginning because I want to see some of those particles there. It gives it color and it's nice. Okay. And give it another little blitz. I just think it's nice at this time of year as well. It's starting to get cold and I think this is the time of year we're thinking comfort food and often the greens and the nutrients get left behind, but this is a good way to do it. Yes, and I think cilantro... It's available even in the winter, even in Toronto, because you can grow it in your own house. That's you can grow it in the kitchen, true. it's always available. Yeah. So this is our salsa verde, raw salsa verde. Lovely. Okay, so we were talking uh, before the show about omelets, and people, omelet is like one of my go-tos for evenings when I don't have the time or patience, and, or people have to be out the door to go to hockey or soccer or whatever. Right. But to make an actual proper omelet is a big deal, actually. There's a proper way to do it. And so not to put the pressure on, Chef, but how do we do a proper omelet? Well, it's all, it's all up to taste. There's not yeah. a perfect omelet because it's what you like. You I know like what? Them. There is a perfect omelet because I see yours over there. Well, the one perfection. I, I, I like it's to make so them good. smooth and sorry, smooth outside, a yeah. little runny inside. And this okay. is what we're going to do right now. We have three eggs here. Wait, we're do gonna... you have your heat on? Is it's that over, okay? It's, yeah, it's, it's right, good. heated. I'm supposed to be helping. I'm not doing No, much. you are. Thank you very much. Okay. And I would have probably, <laughs> I would have probably forgotten, but it okay, is preheated. Good. We're just going to add a little bit of oil, not too much. He's a guest in my kitchen that I never use. <laughs> so we have our eggs scrambled and yep. seasoned. Ready okay. to go, okay? And they go into the pan. We're just going to increase the heat. Nice. How many eggs do you usually use, Chef? Three. I think three eggs per person is the right portion. Yeah. You can have more if you want, but I find that a little heavy. Okay. And uh, 
Again, it's up to the person states, but I recommend three as a person of uh, portion. Totally. And now here, this is the trick. We're just going to shake the pan with one hand, yeah. constantly, vigorously, and with the other hand, the spatula, and we keep scraping and scraping. So I've never done this in my life. Why do you do that? Because <laughs> Obviously, I'm not making omelets right. Oh, because this way I keep the curls really small. I don't let uh, okay. bigger curls form, okay. and that keeps it very smooth and very uh, juicy. It just very luxurious. And fluffy? Does it make it fluffy? I wouldn't say exactly fluffy, Not but fluffy. you'll you'll see it's it's creamy inside and it's very smooth and uh, golden outside. You see this? That's very beautiful. So now it's pretty pretty much done here. Yeah. I'm just gonna. Add a Do you few. see how fast that was? That's super fast, exactly, because it was preheated too. Yeah. That's important. I'm okay. going to add a few mushrooms in the center, Yeah. but also we're going to put some outside so we see what we're eating. And I fold this over itself oh. here. You see, you make like a little pocket here. It's about the gentle fold, everybody. Yeah, exactly. And you took it, it is... off the heat too, which is interesting. Right. And then you took out my tweezers. Who told you to use these? <laughs> well, I uh, golden tweezers because we're using golden chanterelles. You have golden yeah, hair, yeah. so They're it's beautiful. golden theme. <laughs> Thank you, Chef. Okay, so we're ready to plate that up. Right, so the omelet is formed here. Yeah. We're just going to turn it over our plate here, gently. Oh, once again with the skills. And you see that? That's what I was talking about, the smooth surface yeah. that I really like. And okay. we're just gonna brush it quickly with butter here. <gasps> That's my favorite kind of brush. Yes, my <laughs> dear. <laughs> and you see that makes it just a little more beautiful, shiny. That's so nice. Now we're gonna add some mushrooms so you see what what you're eating. Yeah. The chanterelles, they're ready to go. They're cooked and heated. What did you roasted. do? Did you just you just pan fried those a little bit? Pan roasted with a pan little roasted. bit of uh, butter, salt, nice. uh, a little bit of uh, herbs, just some chives. Lovely. And that's it. And now we're gonna add our salsa verde that we made to give it some acidity, some color. Beautiful. Some contrast here and here. And then you brought some gorgeous flowers yes, to Yes, these are garnish. marigolds. Marigolds, and these They're are so Day of pretty. the Dead. These are Day of the Dead flowers also yeah. in Mexico. So, and they're you know, edible, them, obviously. And they're edible, and they're aromatic, and they're colorful and nice. And, Chef, uh, bring it here. I gotta wrap it up. CityLine.TV for the recipe. <laughs> Enjoy. This is so pretty. I hope you enjoy it. Thank While you very I'm eating on this, I want to talk just really quickly about why people should go to One Kitchen. What's special about it? Well, we, as I said, we're sustainable. We yes. respect the ingredients. We try to choose the best ingredients from local purveyors and just treat them that mm. they should. And that's why they should come. It's so good. You are so Thank you talking very much. So I can chew. We're going to break. We got more coming up, everyone. Don't forget to visit One Kitchen. Thank Be you. Right back. This is great.